Hi guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I'm back again with a new video. Um, today's video we're going to be looking at macOS Ventura and Windows 11 features. Um, I can't show you every single feature guys, that'll be a very long video. And some of the features are so tiny that it's just no point of really talking about. However, I'll be linking articles that I believe will help. Uh, you guys get some very detailed information about these. Now, obviously, the, the contents of today's video is going to be using some Mac OS Ventura features, some Windows 11 features. And guys, just to let you know, there's not going to be that many. It's just UI, guys. Just a little spoiler. Um, and last but not least, we're going to be looking at the compatibility and cost side of both operating systems. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's get straight into it. Mac OS Ventura so one of the biggest ones has to be stage manager so if I open up several apps let's just say uh, you can tell that I've now got different windows I can click into windows and it can be replaced it'll be put back into the manager I guess um, and then you can also drag in an application and throw another one right back into stage manager so that's stage manager guys if I close some of the applications off then it's obviously left me with two over here if I go back into control center click on stage manager boom it's gone straight away now another cool one is the control center now it's been a, oh, this has been a here since big sur days um, but the one I want to talk about guys is the focus mode that Apple introduced now I can have different types of focus settings in place um, gaming related mindful personal reading work sp activities ones I can have like a custom one I want to make and put assign an icon to it um, I can set like certain time frames I want it to, to turn on and if someone messages me uh, it will also say look I'm on a focus mode I'm, I'm currently doing a work and stuff like that so really really nice feature actually I use this every day when I start work I don't like people disturbing me while I'm working so yeah another nice additional feature that was added in another change obviously as you saw is the system preferences it looks more like iOS and iPad OS um, so if you know how to use iPhone you pretty much know how to use the new system preferences over here um, another minimal change that Apple would introduce in Safari guys is the new share tab group feature so as shown over here if I click on the news boom all of a sudden I've got four tabs open I can share this with individuals if I click on share tab group I can type I can select myself preparing a message I'm pretty sure yeah there you go cool and then I just need to send it yep, yep. and I, I'll see this on my iPhone and then I can pretty much just access it from there and if I wanted to now you can see there's a new icon up here if I click on it I can automatically call or message the group that I've shared it with and we can have an instant conversation just from there so that's the new share tab groups um, there are some other features in Safari such as you can now have a bit more customization in it it's not dull looking you can change wallpapers you can have a custom wallpaper if you wanted to um, that's another nice addition trackers you can see this now within Safari as well so it's nice to see that we can see who's tracking us and long and behold is google.com so that's the new Safari editions and iMessage got some nice additional features so obviously you can pin your contacts in iMessage um, but you can also now undo messages so if I send a message over here that says what are you doing I can either edit the message and it will resend it to them with the edited one or I can undo send which allows me to just take the message back so I can message take the message back and boom it's disappeared it's gone from the conversation that I'm having with myself so that is iMessage for you guys very quick very easy didn't want to have a long video for you guys to sit there um, so that's messages and you've got free form so this is like a whiteboard that's interactive and you can do between other people so you can add like sticky notes shapes whatever you want in here go crazy with it guys you can do all that stuff this is a box and again guys I can share this with individuals so that you know you, so you can only invited people can edit 
and then I can share, send that across in terms of collaboration and boom, all the, only those people will be able to access this board, this whiteboard. I don't actually use this. I use Notion, guys. So I never really saw the point of using Freeform and it wasn't really in, enough to entice me to, to use it. So yeah, preferably Notion, but this is also available now pre as a pre-installed app on Mac OS Ventura. Continuity camera to feature. So the way this works is you can use your iPhone um, as a camera for your Mac. Um, pretty cool. In as you can tell, Mac Rumors has this on their website. So I can I'll link this into in the description. But basically, they're using a Belkin Snap On, and then you can put the iPhone on top of it. And boom, you can use it as, a, as your meeting camera. It works on pretty much every single app. So you don't, there doesn't need to be any um, integration that needs to be done. And also what's quite cool about it is you can also allow it to do a desk view. I don't know how it does it, but it's incredible. It works. Um, I obviously can't show you guys this, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's, it's nice. And uh, yeah, that's one of the major uh, features of Ventura that came out. Windows 11 and the first thing we see is the design guys that's, that's the main topic here so you can tell the dock is pretty much just like mac os it's all centered you've got your windows icon in the middle now instead of on your far left you've got your search right next to it you've got your multiple web desktop views uh they've been added the teams chat so as long as it, as soon as you click into it you can obviously this is replicating FaceTime, pretty much. Microsoft didn't have this before, so it's, it's not a thing nice and new. We click on the File Explorer icon. You can see it's like more of a smoother design than it used to be. So that's good to see as well from Microsoft. Um, and you can know there's a lot of UI changes, a lot of graphical UI changes over here, uh, which is nice to see, guys. It's it. Microsoft had a very dull design, in my honest opinion. So it's, it's nice to see that they've branched out um, in a new design aspect uh, they've obviously got all of their stuff like you know their hidden icons so the microsoft teams and like the windows security stuff like your internet and all that stuff is all like all these subcategory items like your battery saver the airplane modes the night lights the accessibility toggle and like your nearby sharing and obviously your volume battery and like uh, you can also edit this you can have more icons in here all just all in this little little bar let's just say um and obviously you've got your date and time and your notifications right here so nice type of design let's just quickly show you guys the settings icon so what you can tell guys is mac actually mac os ventura definitely copied windows in this type of layout um because windows 11 was out before mac os ventura but it's nice to see i, I think it looks nice sleek it fits the design that I guess what Microsoft were trying to go for. So the design is pretty much right there. So that's the design for uh, Windows 11. And yeah, they actually also did some UI changes here as well. So it looks compatible with the Windows 11 design because sometimes control panel looked older than what the Windows 10 version used to be. So it's nice to see that they've done a good good vamp of all the ui settings but yeah the ui changes that have had happened now besides the ui change being the the most overall feature that windows 11 has there's just some some really tiny ones that they did it also include so they they made a big deal about this at, at the microsoft announcement for windows 11 but one of the features is the windows 11 snap layouts so if i drag the i the uh, safari uh, not safari microsoft edge on top you can tell that now it's giving me several different types of options i can bring it to the left bring it to the right i've got like a bigger layout and a smaller layout here i can do put it on the top if i wanted to or the bottom so you can have four apps open at the same time and have them each showing up with different views so yeah a lot of nice additions i would say to, to windows now another thing that you can also do with Windows 11 is you can also have a there you go it's the desktop sorry so desktop view so macOS already has this you can also create add another desktop and it'll be an empty desktop here and then you can switch between your desktop so again macOS already has this for a while but it's nice to see Microsoft introducing this as well um, 
as a feature now obviously all the default apps were of course updated to match the new ui stuff uh, so that's a nice little addition as well of course the settings app has changed we mentioned we talked about this a little bit this is a nice little re redesign that they they of course did um and some other feature stuff are such as like a tablet mode and docking stuff that was also added again mac it's a bit difficult when i'm doing when i've got a virtual machine running this but um i don't i'm not really a fan of tablet style laptops anyway guys so it just yeah but it's again it's something that microsoft have, of course added in and it, two things one which is a gaming related one but again it's not really something that i can show um but new sounds again guys that's another thing that microsoft did is the new uh, boot up sound has changed um and the new shutdown sound has changed so again windows 11 not many features have been added more ui based performance based um memory hog that's for sure let's just see if we can see how much memory is being utilized by windows 11 right now um yeah it's you know i've given us six gigs this is idle guys two and a half gigs in use while it's just being idle yeah it's crazy it uses a lot of memory for some reason i wish microsoft can fix this but yeah guys that's that's Windows 11 features for you. So guys, we're just going to be looking at the compatibility and the cost. So Mac OS Ventura, iMac 2017 and later, iMac Pro 2017, MacBook Air 2018 and later, MacBook Pro 2017 and later, Mac Pro 2019 and later, which is interesting. Apple's got something in the back for the new Mac Pro. Uh, Mac Studio 2022, Mac Mini 2018 and later, and a MacBook 2017 so that's for mac os ventura in terms of compatibility uh windows 11 a bit complicated so you need a cpu which is at least like one gigahertz or faster which has at least two or cores or more on a compatible 64-bit processor so that's all on windows website on microsoft website sorry you need at least four gigabytes of ram so these are all minimum specs just to let you know four gigs of minimum four gigs of ram minimum storage 64 gigs or larger your system firmware needs to be at least UFI uh, and secure boot needs to be it needs to be capable of at least doing secure boot. TPM, you need to have a TPM version 2.0 chip, which is ridiculous. Microsoft says that it's because of security. Sure. Um, GPU, you need one which is direct direct X12 or later compatible with WDDM 2.0 driver which a lot of gpus do um display needs to be at least 720p that's greater than nine inches diagonally <laughs> or done at microsoft guys this is from their website um and you need an internet connection for home edition and it requires windows 10 version 2004 windows 10 version 2004 or later for upgradability very very long list um the tpm is ridiculous in all honesty and the cost, guys, finally, the last part of the video, Mac OS Ventura is a free upgrade. Um, Windows 11 is also a free upgrade if you're dating from Windows 10. So if you're dating from Windows 7, you need to make sure you need to upgrade to Windows 8 or 10, and then you'll get a free upgrade to Windows 11. Now, if you've got a custom PC, you know that you're not, if some of the custom PCs don't come with a Windows install. If you want to buy a Windows 11 disc, uh, well, Windows 11 license, you need to buy a Home Edition or a Pro Edition. Home Edition is £119.99 or $139. The Pro version is £219.99 pence or $199.99, which is ridiculous. What is conversion, guys? Doesn't exist. So, yeah, this. A lot of requirements in terms of Windows compared to Mac. Mac is just you've got the compatible devices. It's far easier for Apple to control. Windows, there's a bunch of manufacturers that make Windows compatible devices. So, yeah, guys, that is our video on Windows versus Mac OS. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I want I wanted to keep it quite short. Um, if you like the video, guys, please leave a like. And of course, guys, a lot of you are not subscribed or watching the video. Please, please, please subscribe. It helps the channel. Um, 
And yeah, guys, the next video is going to be a very cool one. I've got a gaming PC that's going to be going against the Mac Pro 7,1. So stay tuned for the next video, guys, and I'll see you then.